hey welcome to this class today we are going to find out the factors of 5 so let me first tell you what is factor here n is a number so n's factor is the number that can divide n without remainder right so what do we mean by the factors of 5 the numbers that can divide 5 without remainder are called 5 factors okay remember here that the factors of a number always includes one and itself so the factor of five will be one and itself means five right a simple way is to find what pairs of number multiply to get five so if i multiply one times five then i will get five so one and five is the factors of five 1 is the lowest factor and 5 is the highest factor. Now we have to find out the other factor of 5. So after 1 I will take 2. So what number will come here? To find out this I will divide 5 by 2. So I am getting here 1 as a remainder. That is why we know that 5 is not completely divisible by 2. So 2 is not the factor of 5. The, now the question is, should we stop here? To check, look at here. 2 square means 4, which is less than 5. Less than means we have to continue the process. Right? So now, we'll try to find out the factors of 5 by 3. So what, will, what number will come here? So if I divide 5 by 3, what will happen? you will get remainder 2 that is th 5 is not completely divisible by 3 so 3 is not factor of 5 the question is should you stop here to check you have to square 9 9 is greater than 5 greater than indicates that you should stop so the only factor of 5 is 1 and 5 you know that 5 is a integer so it an integer includes positive and negative factor to find out negative factor you just need to add minus sign before the positive factor so these are the four factors of 5 i have a blog post in the description box of this video you can read that blog post so thank you for being this video be well